Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country Ukraine during this awful war. And of course you have to be the witnesses and active participants of the process of our victory and we are very grateful to our allies. Today Ukraine celebrates or marks the day of Ukrainian national shawl or a chief, I don't know, what is the correct uh, word to use it. But anyway, I think that in many of your cultures, you use these shawls or something very similar. For me, it was very interesting to discover that many similar uh, elements of national costume are, are present in Poland, Czechia, Romania, but also that far away as Spain and Portugal. I have some friends in Coruña and many of uh, the shawls that they use for their national dance performances were pretty similar to the ones that are popular among Ukrainians. I also like these shawls because they allow you to demonstrate your cultural identity without dressing up. Vyshevanka, our traditional embroidered shirt, is beautiful and interesting, but at the same time it demands some specific care and is not always appropriate at various official meetings. That's meetings, that is my uh, personal subjective opinion. And a show like that can at the same time demonstrate your national identity, can warm you up and uh, can travel with you all around the world demonstrating some interesting facts about Ukrainian culture, history and making you look more beautiful. So I have decided that today I will demonstrate you some traditional ways of uh, wearing this uh, national shawl and uh, you will tell me which one you like best and maybe for this Christmas celebrations and other things, uh, especially those of you who have Ukrainian heritage will choose and repeat the style that I offer to you. Well, I have to say that my personal collection of national kerchiefs or shawls is not very big. I do have some inherited from my grandma. They are small and woolen and sometimes I wear them with um, coats or something like that. The ones that I will demonstrate to you today are modern and I have bought them on various uh, national things, uh, markets and so on. So here you see that I try and uh, mm, fix it as a, a triangle and then you have to make like this small thing you have to wrap it that way so it will be better to fix on your head so let's try the most classical way that is very popular among ukrainian women uh, that will be to take this parts of your um, Chief. And by the way, tassels are very popular in Ukraine and in some regions people try to hide them when putting on a, a kerchief, but in another, in the majority of regions, we keep them because they um, mean, symbolize generosity. So I'm trying to hide this sides of my kerchief behind leaving a tail and putting them right here. You can hide your hair completely, especially married women in Ukraine back in, uh, in the previous centuries were sometimes supposed to hide, but we were never uh, bad with women. That's why I think that Ukrainian gender equality is pretty fine. And this is the easiest way to wear a chief. What is more importantly, you don't need to knot it or something. It is fixed and everything is um, okay. Uh, another thing I can do is I can take one side of my shawl and um, wrap it that way, making something similar to a plate or I don't know how you prefer to call it. So I roll it that way and I put it above my like my head and it looks like a band or something and it makes the whole look more sophisticated maybe and then I fix it on the other side 
well i don't know if i'm able to show you at the so it looks like uh, that and it's totally okay if you have tassels. If you don't like them, you can hide them. What do you do with the other side? There are plenty of options. And option number one is just to use it to cover your neck. You know, women really wore this uh, kerchiefs to um, protect themselves from cold. And for a Christmas uh, period, or for example, when you go to sing, carols this is a tradition in ukraine you can cover yourself with this side and it looks pretty like archaic <laughs> how do you say it or you can simply when you enter for example a house and it's warmer you can simply leave it that way and it also looks sophisticated Another type of the way you can continue this look is do just the same thing to your other side of the shawl and then wrap it around once again, making this band on the top larger, like a more serious woman. <laughs> uh, that way it looks more like, I don't know, sophisticated or serious or maybe like ukrainian women were a little bit i cannot say aggressive rebellious or something like that so maybe it looks that way and at the back of it i just have like normal part if you're lazy like me you can take smaller kerchiefs this one looks similar but it's smaller and use them as ukrainian babushkas as you call them sometimes uh, like older ladies like to wear well the most typical way would be like that and well, it seems to me to drive a ferrari you can also wear a, a, a shawl like uh, that the popular colors are as you see this one um purple how do you call that also dark red red green black uh blue yellow uh green and like milkshade color another very popular version that comes from a simple version that comes from various ukrainian films about witches <laughs> there are some they are active in our folklore will be or like aggressive women the one that is ready to quarrel with her husband will be like to wrap it just and do it that way like living this living this side like okay where where have you been <laughs> what did you do and so on so these are like i cannot tell you that the style that you can often see perhaps in russia is very popular here well, it's easier to wear that way, but I personally don't. If my personal favorite would be like that. Aye, aye. The easiest, <laughs> the best for me. Another styling of uh, our national shawl comes from the Carpathian Mountains. And I'm personally a huge fan of Hutsul culture, it's very bright, it's very authentic, it was not much influenced by various empire occupations and USSR, people managed to preserve their cultural identity the best there, and they have practiced this uh, traditional things actively even in their everyday life. So definitely when you come to see Carpathian Mountains after the victory, you will be surprised to see how many um, women wear national clothes or some elements of national clothes and of course national shawls. So here I take a different shade and just the same uh, structure that we need to work with. And um, also when you fix your shawl for styling, try to choose like the best and to demonstrate uh, the flowers and the patterns that you want because they look beautiful in the majority of cases they are floral and a kerchief is an important element of a marriage ceremony or of uh, our traditional holidays like Christmas so this is a time when you will meet lots of people wearing them and maybe even me you 
you can take one to the church for example i have never tried this styling so actually i'm a little bit worried because like i'm lazy i did not practice before filming so the start is pretty the same you put the sides of your kerchief behind you just like leaving the tail so wrapping i think in every culture you have something similar and honestly for me <laughs> that's like the best and the easiest way to uh, wear a uh, shawl so now i have these two sides and i'm going to work with them and i have to make something similar like knots on the sides and they have to be like not very tight but more of like rolls or something they must be puffy you know like like that i feel like this like look of the day <laughs> vloggers or something and just the same on this side maybe let's try and make it now this side let's try and make it brighter the tassels are hidden some people are more accurate than me when doing such things but you know not a very very careful person in that styling and we're trying to make this rolls this knots or whatever you call them big and puffy see and i will work a little bit more on this one so that it looks like puffier and then what do i do what do i do with all that i rise my sides to the top making this knots more like prominent actually they look like my ears <laughs> some pe people call this style that way but they have to resemble like knots and i hide the sides and behind the band so but once again i it it is very traditional to leave this tassel as it shows like that you are I don't know generous and rich and this ears like in my case here i could have worked harder uh, to get the brighter color and yeah and do the same here so this is more of the hutsul traditional way to wear a chief let me know if you uh, like it in the past, in the history, these kerchiefs were pretty expensive. They were made of natural materials. Very often they were woolen and the number, the colors uh, could tell a story of uh, a region and also uh, how much money your husband has because to buy them, it was pretty, pretty expensive. I'm sure in future I will be able to uh, make this better. Also, you can hide this tail beneath uh, the chief or you can leave it and that's the way it looks so if you have uh, ukrainian shawls in your household practice wearing during winter times maybe that will be a stylish and cute way also to remind about ukraine because despite all the beautiful things that we have we are very much worried about our cultural heritage or cultural identity because this war with russia is not about economy not just about politics but about our existence thank you for buying me coffees thank you for becoming my patrons and thank you for your desire to learn and know more about ukraine let me say let me know what do you think about this video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and slava ukraine